Step number one, you'll need to bridge some Ethereum to StarkNet network. And to do that, of course, you'll need to have your MetaMask account with some Ethereum on it and you need to install any StarkNet wallet. So in my case, for example, you can install Bravos. If you Google Bravos, um, you can select your browser and if you click on your browser, it's going to bring you to the App Store. And from there, you basically install this extension, put your password, save your recovery phrase. Everything is very easy to set up. And now we have our MetaMask connected and also Bravos wallet connected. So now you can select essentially the amount that you want to send, for example. So I'm going to put uh, 0.11 if I'm going to bridge it to StarkNet. You just need to confirm your transaction um, and it's going to take a few minutes to do that. So I'm going to get back to you once this is done. OK, so now we have our funds. It took me about two minutes to complete the transaction. So step number two, you will need to go to 10K swap. And for example, in here, you select your if balance. First, you connect your wallet. So connect your Bravos wallet, approve the wallet to this website. And in here, basically, you can swap if to, for example, USDC. So we can select, for example, to USDC, click swap, click confirm, confirm your transaction in your Bravos wallet. So essentially sign your transaction. So now we are doing these transactions on mainnet, which will qualify you for the airdrop. Once they're going to drop it, we're not doing this on testnet because testnet you don't pay anything you're just playing with um testnet eve and now we are playing with the real money so you're testing network testing the congestion and that's why the airdrop issue is they reward you for this because you're using the real money to test the network okay so our transaction is confirmed we have two usdc next step you want to go to the pool and you want to deposit some funds to the liquidity pool so if we find for example eve to um usdc you can click on it and you can, for example, select the amount that you want to deposit. So that's two dollars. You click deposit, confirm, confirm the transaction, and wait just a few seconds to sign it. Now our transaction is signed and everything is submitted. So that's all good. So now you deposited some funds to the pool. So that's all good. So we did our job on the 10k swap website. So the next step, you want to buy a very cheap NFT. So if you go to the Minscore website and make sure you are guys connected to this website and also so you have selected the StarkNet network. We're not doing things on testnet. We are doing things on mainnet. Make sure you have the second option StarkNet mainnet selected. And here you can select, you can click on the collections button and we need to find something very, very cheap. You can see essentially we have the floor price in here. And we have these different NFT collections. So let's, for example, select the uh, brick sets. If you click on it, you have the filter to select the NFTs from the lowest price possible. We can click on the first one, which is the Indigo, and we can click purchase. The Bravos wallet is going to pop up and we can buy this NFT, which we're going to sign this transaction. The next step, you want to do some more swaps. So to do that, we're going to use the MySwap.xyz website. All the links I'm going to include down below in the description. You need to be connected to mainnet and of course, connect your Bravos wallet. So in him, we just select token fir first token, which is Ethereum. And the second token that we're going to pick is USDC. So let's say we want to swap five USDC and you can click on, on the swap button. Your Bravos wallet is going to pop up. You just sign the transaction. It's going to take a few seconds again. And you can also add your USDC to our wallet. So if you go to our Bravos wallet, you can see that I have my USDC in here. So it's going to show up in a few minutes once the transaction will be confirmed. So the next step, you want to interact with Bravos wallet and make some more swaps. So if you go to the wallet, you click on the swap button and you can swap from Ethereum to different token. You can do more transactions to make more transactions on your wallet to stay more active. Because the more transactions you're going to make, the more eligible is going to make you for the airdrop. So I advise you guys try to interact with as many different dApps as possible. The more you use it, the bigger airdrop you will get. So if you go to the dApp section, to the dApp icon down below, you can see different dApps that you can interact with. There's not a lot of them. There's literally 10 of these. So you can basically play around with them. So for example, we can select the uh, StarkNet ID. So once you're on this website, you want to connect your wallet. And now you'll need to choose your Stark domain name. The least characters you will have in your name, the more expensive it will be. But if you, for example, select some random domain name and the more uh, characters you have is going to be cheaper. So for example, this one for one year is going to be 0 0.009 Ethereum. So we can register this domain name. Once this is done, you will make another transactions on the StarkNet network, which is also beneficial to us because we tested another protocol and we made more transactions. Also in here, you can see your identities that you minted. So for example, I minted this domain name. 
and also if you click on this plus button you will mint one more identity which you can see in your brother's wallet so if we go to nfts you can see your collectibles so you can see the nft that i purchased on the mint square website and also these both identities that you can find in here so you made even more transactions which is also very beneficial and last but not least we want to interact with the urgent x wallet which is also a really good wallet on starknet so the installation is very simple you just basically install the extension you set up some strong password and also write down the recovery phrase so now we've made around 20 transactions in total on starknet so in my opinion this is more than enough to make you eligible for the airdrop in the future comment down below what do you think about this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one